The spread of pathogens, parasites, and harmful algal blooms are among the most central concerns of aquaculture producers. Estimated costs from catastrophic losses across the country are in the billions of dollars per year. Some sectors may lose up to an estimated 40% of their production due to emerging diseases. Diseases and pathogens in aquaculture can take many forms and often are regionally and species-specific. Aquaculture disease outbreaks are becoming more severe due to increased demands put on production, globalization, broodstock movement, new species in aquaculture, interactions between wild and cultured animals, and the effects of climate change. In response, the use of antibiotics preventatively can result in ecological damage, antibiotic resistance, and results in ever-increasing costs to the producers. Current methods for monitoring disease and invasive species do not provide sufficient information for early mitigative action. All living organisms leave a biological footprint in the form of environmental DNA and RNA. The monitoring and detection of these biomolecules are a critical advancement in early detection of biological organisms. Until now, scientists used a costly multi-day process of field sample collection and laboratory analysis fraught with limitations. First, the results of eDNA or eRNA analysis only represent a snapshot in time and are prone to errors in accuracy. Second, manual labor and physical consumables are needed in the actual collection, processing, and quantification of samples amplifying potential errors. Third, laboratory analysis of samples is a slow process. Samples must be stabilized and transported for analysis, resulting in a delayed response and losses in production. Some innovations bring laboratory tools to the field, such as automated samplers and on-site PCR. These tools require proprietary and often refrigerated physical consumables. All these tools have moving parts and consumables, resulting in operational and maintenance issues while still requiring a human for operation, thereby missing the commercial aquaculture needs of autonomously collected, continuous, real-time data that provides actionable results. Nucleic sensing systems design the tracker with the aquaculture operations in mind and will change how the entire industry monitors for organisms and pathogens of concern. The tracker is capable of operating without human labor for both sampling and quantification, acting like a biological smoke alarm. Its sampling capabilities are broad, offering immense power to detect organisms such as bacteria, viruses, invasive species, and harmful algal blooms. The tracker design is inherently flexible and able to easily be reconfigured to monitor for new and emerging diseases. It is deployable for indoor use and ruggedized for in-field, long-term deployments. While sampling, it requires no proprietary, refrigerated reagents of any kind and can operate via solar power or battery either continuously or at high frequency. It is capable of monitoring either at a fixed location or in transit, providing a heat map of genetic concentrations for any species of concern. The tracker transmits data to the cloud, providing real-time, actionable information delivered to the palm of your hand. The tracker will transform the aquaculture industry through early warning of risks that can catalyze the most sustainable management practices, reduce antibiotic use and cost while increasing productivity, product quality, and profitability. Nucleic Sensing Systems is here to help suppliers, producers, and all industry partners to ensure a consistent supply of aquaculture products to meet the world's ever-increasing demand. Come find out more at www.ns2co.com.